Look at their Bambi's back. Staring right at me. <laughs> That's funny. Let me get close. Bambi back there. Hanging out near the RV. Boy, it is nasty out. Kind of enjoying it though. Was doing my pacing back and forth, thinking and stressing. Got to go into town here, try and find a local uh, storage unit and start hauling a bunch of crap. I got a lot of stuff up in that barn. I was just up in there today, going through my stuff and seeing what I got to, what I've got to move. So yeah, out here enjoying the rain and I like this spot. It's a good thinking spot peaceful dry got some of my shelves down from the barn that's the first thing that's going to get moved is the shelves and then I can uh, come back for another load trying to find something here in town so I don't have to take a bunch of long trips just get something as close as possible it's still gonna be a lot of work so it's just kind of ugh. I got too much stuff It'll be worth it though if I can organize a storage unit for all my crap and start getting some of the stuff sold on eBay. That'll be really good. All right, here's another burrito idea. I've done uh, tuna tacos with those corn tortilla shells, the soft ones, like this, but they're a lot smaller. Uh, anyway, I was out of bread. I went shopping now, but I was going to do this one more time because it was pretty good. Tuna burritos. So one can of tuna. Make uh, I separate out three blobs. Make them about the equal size. Three sh fills uh, about three shells. Do that. Add some garlic salt. Just a little bit. Some cheese. Coleslaw. And I was wiping uh, or putting a little bit of mayonnaise on top of the tuna to make up for the lettuce for some sauce but now I have some ranch so I'll put a little ranch on there adds some zestiness oh yeah it feels good yes ran out of ranch that was scary I tried eating the uh, regular ranch so I couldn't do it just isn't a very good ranch I don't like I don't know what the difference is. Unrefrigerated and then the stuff's always refrigerated. Alright you guys, tuna burritos. If you ever run out of bread, that's why I did it in the first place. But pretty good. All right, you guys, it is time to cut this hair, I think. It's getting hot. It's getting warm out. And I just can't stand the long hair when it's sticking to my neck and keeping all the heat on my head. 
harder to cool off. Um, and it makes a mess. The longer it gets, the more of a mess it makes. So anyway, it's about that time. Time for the hair harvest of 2020. I'm going to put it into... I usually just put it all up into the top and a, one big ponytail and chop it off and then save it. Cause as I've mentioned before, I'm trying to make a wig out of my own hair. Yeah, my own... And my own wig. Oh, uh, anyway, slightly greasy. I was about to take a shower, but then I remember to like cutting my hair when it's kind of greasy. Then all the it stays together a little better in storage. I've got a couple. I think I still have my original ponytail from the first video on my channel. I'll grow out a ponytail again, but not this year. It's just I've got too much going on. Last time I did a ponytail, I was in a house with air conditioning, so it was a little... I do not like long hair when it's hot out. It's a, just... It's just uncomfortable. I'm gonna cut it at some point. Woke up from a nap not too long ago. Feeling refreshed, kinda. I could've slept a little longer, but it's like evening, so I didn't really want to sleep the last part of the day away. 8 o'clock, daylight's getting longer now, and I can just buzz that off, got all my pippy long stocking here in a minute, uh, ouch, okay, a little weird rat tail off the back and two off the sides, ouch, pull them here, Oh, it's time. It's hot in here right now. Ouch! 75 degrees. It's not that hot, but... It was a lot worse earlier. It's getting dark out now. Uh, Alright, so let's chop these off and then trim it up. All right, you guys, here we go. It's summertime. It's time to cut this hair. first bundle. No grays yet. Oh, it always feels good too once this gets this off. Start over. Start again. Gotta try and stay away from the scalp a little bit. Don't want any bald spots. Wow. Some poundage. Maybe like a pound. It's noticeable. There we go. Good harvest. Got some colorful rubber bands on there. Oh. Yeah, I'll take a shower. Let's feel, go clean up. I'm, just, yeah, yeah, stressed about getting back on the road. So here it goes. Helps me feel clean. Not literally clean, but just like mentally clean. Yeah, let's cut that. I want to get the rest of that off there. Alright, so let's cut this a bit shorter. 
I like to go pretty short because I'm going to end up wearing a hat. That's, that's not how bad. There's always some stragglers I can't get, obviously, but I don't know what that looks like back there. But yeah, it still looks good to me. Short on the sides, leave a little on the top. Could just buzz it, but. Get my mirror so I can see what the back looks like. This is the hardest part. Good enough. Let's try and clean it up with the this number two. Just kind of whip it. Yeah, good enough, I think. Take a shower and see what's left. Oh, yeah, that is much better. I think I might actually stop at a hair place this time and have them fix that up a little bit, at least around the ears. But I like it. Put my, put my bucket hat away. Actually, that's in the dirty laundry. It needs to be washed. And then I will put that away. Get out to my cap. Summer attire. Check out my cool new American t-shirt. Oh, look at that. America. Hey, America. There it is. So, haircut, plans are in action. We're running out of time here this month. We'll be getting back on the road soon. One more project or two that I might do for the RV first. So anyway, lots coming up. We'll be boondocking here very soon. I might have a couple project videos for you. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.